welcome to the part 6 of the unity 3d cut tutorial game in this video what we'll be doing is we'll be saving the best score and the name of the user who has played the game uh, once he has finished the race if if the user complete the race in the best time then we we'll, then we'll ask him to save his name enter his name and we'll save it and we'll display it on a uh, screen right this is what we'll be doing in this video so let's get started firstly create a GUI text rename it as best time just name it as best stats and make the font size 20 0.5 yeah best stats make this as 1 yeah. Open the timer script. This is the timer script that we have done so far. Uh, since uh, the script that we'll be using to do this modifications, that is uh, the uh, with, that is the asking to the asking the user to save, uh, asking the user to enter his name rather if he has finished the race in, in the best time. Uh, this is a huge script. So what I've done is I've written this earlier so that it becomes easier for me to explain rather than type and explain. I'll just paste it here. Yeah. Now let's explain. Let us get go through this script. Yeah. What I've done is let's go to the function GUI. I've declared a variable named as custom skin. Uh, the reason for declaring this is, yeah, I've declared it here, custom skin, which is of type gray skin. The reason for declaring this is, by, by declaring this, we can utilize our own modified custom gray skins rather than the default gray skin of the Unity. I'll I'll post a link to download the custom gray skins. Don't worry. Yeah. Here, what we'll do is we'll check if the if the race is finished. If the race is finished, I've, I've declared two variables here: the best time and the best player. Uh, the the best time is of type float, and I've set it to uh, some random value, which is which will be greater than the usual time take, uh, taken to complete the race. And I've uh, they, uh, set the best player value to uh, which is of time, which is of type string, and I've set it to player, which will be modified by the user once he has completed the race in the best time, right? What we'll do is we'll check whether we have this. I'll change it to this time zero zero one. <coughs> Sorry. We'll check whether we have this player prefs. Player prefs are usually used to store and retrieve data from the register editor. Yeah, from your memory, from the memory of your system, right? This is the thing. Player prefs. Uh, we'll check whether we have this key. Best time zero zero one. I'll change all these to 001 you can you can name it at, a, at as anything you like since I've already used best time so I'm re renaming it as 001 so that it will be easy to demonstrate right best time let me find them yeah one more here I'll change this to 001 Yeah. So what we'll do? Uh, this is the boolean. Uh, boolean. This function returns a boolean. If it, if it, if it has this key best time zero zero one, it returns false. Right? Uh, sorry, true. If it doesn't have this, it returns false. What we'll do is if it if it has this key, then we'll save the best time uh, which the user has completed the race in. That is the uh, that is saved in best time. Get float. Uh, we are getting the value from the. Uh, screen that is the, the timer the, and that is saved in best time then what we'll do is we'll, we'll check if uh, the user has entered the key or, or, or his name the player name we'll, we'll save it in best player right now now what we'll do is we'll check if the if the past time is less than or equal to the best time we have initially set the best time to 999 nine something uh, once the user has completed the race uh, he'll, he'll be completing the race 
if if we complete the race before that time what we'll do is uh, we'll set we'll set the time uh, past time to the best time right best time we'll set this past time into this this goes into this right that is in your memory and then we'll display <coughs> sorry and then we'll display uh, GUI dot label this is the label what we'll display is uh, we'll, we'll congratulate the user on completing the race in so on and so time which which has a new record right if, if the past time is less than equal to best time we'll display this and what we'll do is we'll ask him to enter his name and we'll use the text field we'll use a text field GUI, te GUI dot text field uh, to ask him to enter his name uh, the uh, GUI dot text field is a thing uh, in which one can uh, enter a string or anything right right that is a thing and we'll we'll store it in best player this this is this is a variable where we'll be storing the name of the user uh, who has completed the race right uh, I'll get back to this player press dot get string yeah we'll uh, set the name uh, best player name to we'll transfer this to this right I'll copy this best player name into the player name yeah what we'll do is uh, what basically unity does is uh, uh, we need to, we need, once once we enter the name we need uh, the the text field to uh, to be disabled right so and that's the reason why I'm use if condition here first first while we enter this the name the the text field should be visible to us right and hence it is true once we have entered it and once we press enter enter button after after uh, entering our name we press enter button or the return button the show text field will turn uh, will will change it to false and then uh, by doing this what, what we are doing is we are disabling the GUI or text field this is the reason why I am doing this right yeah <coughs> sorry else uh, what we will do is we will check if past time is, is not less than equal to or the best time then what will do displays congratulate m for completing the race in so and so seconds that's it right yeah now what we'll do is we'll build the menu part once i've completed the race i'll check if the ok is visible after co after congratulating him we'll be displaying a uh, button called is ok once he presses that we'll we'll be getting three more options uh two yeah the two menu option and the, the play again option and the exit window option I'll demonstrate this first it'll be easy then have I saved this no not save this just save it I'll just add these best time here I score just use the custom skin Just use it. Let's test it. Yeah, see, we have completed the race in so and so seconds, which is a new record. Uh, it is asking to enter the name. I'll enter. Uh, play your right and I press enter now what we are doing is the GUI text field is disabled I press ok play again yeah yeah you might have seen that we have uh, once the user has completed the race in a new uh, in a new best time we have asked him to enter his name we have saved it and once he enters his name and presses the enter button uh, the text field vanishes right and then we press ok we get three more uh, GUI buttons right yeah now let's get back to the script here yeah. what we'll do is we'll check if this is visible we'll declare a variable named as is visible which is true which is set to true right <coughs> sorry yeah, if is visible, then what we'll do is we'll display a button, GUI button, 
and name it as OK. Right? Uh, and here, yeah. If I press OK, then I'll have declared another variable known as show more GUI, which is set to false. I suppose. Yeah, which is it is set to false. What we'll do is if we, if we press OK, I'll change this to true and is visible to false. Once we press the OK button, we'll disable it, right? And yeah, if show more GUI, if this is true, what we'll do is we'll display three more GUI buttons. Uh, you, you can get the syntax of this GUI button uh, in the Unity manual page. This is the width, this is the uh, height and the width on the screen you want to display it the GUI button this is the uh, width of the button and this is the height of the button right and same thing once we press this to menu it will go to the menu thing we'll be getting this to the, in the later part of the uh, tutorial series and what we'll do is is finished equals to false uh, this is not necessary yeah this is necessary rather since we have used a static variable here and the is finished or this is finished uh, since your static variable uh, it, it is saved as it is right uh, it, it will be saved as true and whenever we press play again uh, it, it assumes that the race is finished that's the thing behind making this false right so that we can play the game again these are the thing once we if we press the exit to windows we'll quit the game right uh, this is the standard function to quit the key yeah so this is about the script uh, change these to, uh, change the font size to 20 all these things only the GUI count on let it be 40 uh, so that we can uh, display this yeah uh, yeah you can create GUI skins on, on your own uh, perhaps I might do a tutorial on that we'll see how it goes yeah you can see uh, perhaps you can uh, change the text color like I've done here. I've changed it to hello. You can change the font. You can change the font by downloading them from the internet. So this, so let's just try it out once again. We have displayed the player right uh, the name the best statistics uh, then the time that he has taken and the name of the player so this was uh, saving the uh, best statistics of a race uh, thank you for watching guys I'll be back with more soon uh, do comment like and subscribe if you have any issues regarding this uh, do comment I'll get back to them and regarding the script and the GUI skins I'll be posting them on my blog. Uh, you can download them from here, from there, brother. Thank you for watching, guys. See you.